What's up guys, this is the Revman and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Ember Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to pick up where we left off, the Russian forces in Caracas sallied forth across the continent to try to attack Bogota and we've sallied out to meet them before they hit the town. Critically, I have the advantage in artillery. However, they have two units of hand mortar companies which are devastating. If they get within range, they will destroy whatever they come up against. So I cannot allow that to happen. Heavy amount of skirmishing from the frontier is needed. But I need to absolutely maximise my use of artillery <clears throat> to get to, to maintain my advantage. Artillery and... No, not cavalry. I've got vague parity. Troubles of Hussars, I didn't realize you only got 45 of them, which is not much at all. Either way, let's get to it. So artillery is... Yeah, artillery is going to be the... Better. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to clear my throat a second. Ooh. There we go. Um, yeah, so my cavalry is lesser. My infantry, I'm pretty sure, is lesser. Um, but my artillery is, is, is much more capable. I've long enough that my... Oh, oh no. <clears throat> I was about to say, oh no, it's raining, but that might actually be good for me. Let's get my Fusilier us center. With a unit of infantry on each flank. The trouble is. No, I'm gonna want my so let's group these up a minute. Might, this is a good position for artillery. It's got a good field of fire for a lot of angles. So I want to put a battery down. Probably put two Fusilieros, Fusilieros to one side. Fusilieros to the other side. Two units of colonial line. This has the advantage of also protecting my flanks a bit more. Then I'll probably put my other... Trouble is, is this is kind of asking for a grand battery. No, I am going to put, put one out on the flank. So let's redeploy Fusiliers. Deploy Colonial Line. I'm not maximising it three deep because it means that these all these guys will do is they will just fill in the gaps as they take losses. So they're deployed. They're deployed. On the right to protect this artillery I've got. Wood, wood pigeon. Frontiersmen are going to hold back for now. Colonial line on the flank. Militia hold back for now as well. Let's put my mortars and my howitzers down as well. One unit of hussars for the right, one unit of hussars for the left. Then my general. Excellent. Clone your foot, clone your foot. Are they going to fire it, Will? I guess not. Hand mortar company, there's one coming right at us. Russian infantry deploying on the left. Deploy my musketeers and deploy fusil arrows. Keep my cavalry close. Colonial 
reload your line, so I don't need to bother about worry about them so much. I can chew them up quickly. These colonial line, well, we'll soon find out how good uh, how good my infantry is. Folks fire that hand more to company, holy moly. Do not allow them to come any closer. And they are running. Colonial foot, grenadiers, militia, colonial line. You aim at the rearmost hand more to company. Canister shot. That's what you need to do. Do not let them get close. There we go, our lines have engaged. Colonial oh, the... Light Cav has charged my militia. Let's run my frontiersmen out. Let's get my howitzers, folks firing on another infantry unit. Good routing. Cast shot, hit that colonial line. Okay, let's get my light, get this infantry ready into position to shoot. That colonial line, you can just that hand more to company, holy moly. Holy moly, they're coming closer. No. Good. The Mexican lines are holding. Most importantly, we are for oh, good. We are forcing these hand mortar companies back. This other cartoon unit is still firing canisters. Fire round shot. Hit that unit when it is. Company's coming back. Oh, I've never had a unit hold such hold me with such so much terror. units can are capable of doing lots of damage if you just keep them if you keep them spread out a bit more it's the maximum amount of guns on the field SRs chase after grenadiers
time my cavalry hit them, they sh just get my cavalry out from the flank a bit more. See, once they hit my, once my cavalry hits them, see if I can routing good. Halt. 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 Oh. So they do have infantry at the rear. How it is. While I'd like to wipe them out as much as possible, um, I do also need to balance that with keeping troops alive. goes in a position to move on the general. Native Bowman Auxiliary, General's Bodyguard. Infantry in onto the bowmen that are somewhere in the forest. And let's also turn off my artillery. General is routing. Excellent. Continue because they are still in the fight. Hit that unit of artillery. See if you can hit their general. See if one of them is their general, you can pick it off. 
Sadly not. They are going to get away. Take out their artillerymen eventually. Somewhere there's one guy. So everyone else after these native bowmen auxiliary. I'm not sure who it is they're trying to kill. Because there's no guy. So. Send them all after this native bowman and auxiliary. Even though they might make it pretty darn far into the escape zone. Need to mix it up. Need to mix up how they go for, because right now they're letting this big cluster get dangerously close to the scene. They made it. Pretty sure the only way to do this now is just to send everyone in and just let. Eventually they'll destroy whatever it is they need to destroy. Done. Sorted. Whew. Only lost 500 men, they lost 2.2 thousand. Delicious. Maintain the push and replenish as we advance. Perfect. And so I can now send my militia to guard ports. Ah! Did not remember that. <laughs> the fact that they hate me. Fall back. <laughs> cool. Research and tech. Everything's going okay. Indian men have already sent him away. Cool. End turn. Trade? We did have trade! And then you ruined it! But yeah, things seem to be going well. I'm still at that size where no one's really... No one's really that bothered about destroying me right now. Which is good. Ah. <gasps> oh. Thought maybe the Swedes might do it. But trade has been re-established with Britain. It's good for me at least. Still, no one seems to be doing anything that's going to interfere with my Mexican Empire. Oh no! They've tried the old sneaky run around the edge. May as well just build straight on to build the theatre. Fleet arrives. Let's put you onto that trade node as well. 
Or do I put you onto this one? Ah. Well, what about this one? Ah, let's not be greedy. Let's put oh, I didn't realize I was moving them all. France, the United Provinces are broken. New Granada's on strike, but that's okay. Let's move around here. And then let's recruit militia to try. Hash your beans. So in terms of construction, I can't build anything with my money. Not even roads. Nope. Well, I guess that's going to be more ships. So, Firepower 277. On a galleon. Firepower 52. Hmm. Let's leave it for now. There's a bit of insurance. Okay, let's get this priest down to New Granada. Oh, don't need to. Let's run them straight over to Caracas then, I suppose. Let's create two more fifths for this fleet. Cool, in turn. Ports garrisoned and secured. I think they're gonna run around my guy. Oh, oh Bryn, you almost landed on the Spanish coast. I'm pretty sure now they're going to back and destroy their forces. Austria, oh, I thought Austria were going to be sneaky sneak and attack you in. To be honest, I should be using this money to build up another army in Mexico City to push on to take Texas and secure my northern flank. And then fortify it, because that's where America's going to come steaming in. Maybe, actually. They might just send navies and and um, try to blockade me. Yeah, they've done the old run around and attack the city. Yeah, it's fair enough. Here's how we deal with that, though. Do that because ah, oh, that's why I shouldn't have done that. Then take the city back. Now oh, they're gonna be super oh, a general's bodyguard and a line infantry unit. So, yeah, I'll just let my guys replenish and fleet arrives. Let's use you to have a scout. Yeah, and they're all taken to go back to my stack. Cool. Gentlemen in Guatemala. Will you go there? Because chances are Spain's going to recruit more because they've got a broad observatory. New Granada lost. New Granada captured. Granada captured. Good. And my general is rapidly becoming very, very good. Good, my fleet's on the way. So the Spanish have knocked out the Cherokee. The Americans have pushed down and... and I, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to start building an actual army. So let's get me another general. Let's get me... Let's see, they're 45... 45 Falanceros. Right, so I want to get one of them, in case they have big cavalry, and then... In, Two units of Lanceros to balance the numbers. Two. And then let's get a unit of. Not dragons, not yet. So the next upgrade gets me Q 
cuirassiers, which is very good cavalry. Get Union Frontiers, man. Good, and my navy is being built here, so let's recruit you. Oh, I can't recruit an admiral. We'll promote an admiral. Things seem to be going okay. Let's get another fifth. And fix that farm. Cool. Enter. God, did you cancel trade again? Ooh, where are they sending their troops? See, this is the fascinating thing about this campaign, is that so far, the AI has been relatively unpredictable. Sorry, I was just getting peering down on my board. It's slightly orange. Yeah, the AI's, the AI's become a lot more unpredictable. Trade with France. Well, why not? We are a growing Latin American nation. Your ancient ally, Spain, is not capable of holding such territory. It's the Moroccan squadron. Ottomans are being sneak sneaks. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock down that religious building and instead replace it with a happiness building because um, they're 100% Catholic, so don't need it. Good. Ah, I think, oh, the Russians already knocked it down. Help me out. Still replenishing, but let's send. Way much more than I need. I just want to make sure. Good on you. Get you back to Bogota. Upgrade the Iron Master's work. Well, oh, no. Yeah, I'll wait for Medellin to grow and then decide whether or not I want to. I want to own a another third school. Probably will, because three is about the, the sort of level I like to have. Good. So we've got a new general, Carmelo Guerrero. 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 Carmelo, that's your name. Cool. Two frontiersmen. Let's get two grins and two fusileros. Fusileros. Excellent. I suppose I may as well just keep churning out Indiamen while I can. I may as well spread that out so I can recruit lots per turn. Ooh, see, I need to prepare because eventually that trade is going to become cut off. Quebec, are you attacking Montreal or Newfoundland? Eventually, eventually, I'm going to draw the attention of the United States. That's not great. Not great at all. She's in it now. <laughs> I want to secure the Caribbean. That's my main focus. Secure my Caribbean and create a very, very solid trade empire. The tricky thing is, what will be once I knock the Spanish out of the Caribbean, because I'm not going to want to advance on mainland United States yet. I don't open up too much of a front with the US. Um, to be honest, well, once I've taken over the Caribbean, I'll probably have a reasonably strong economic footing, and then I'll have to pick which major. I do is I've not played long enough in this game to see how stable it's in late. If the turns start taking too long, then. You'd think the Ottoman is doing something and being a bit lot more aggressive. <laughs> 
So we'll sweet him into a follow-up assault. Hmm. Fortunately not. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of There we go. All of my trade ports are upgraded now. So first let's ship. Let's Indium into the East Indies. This Indium into the East Africa. And this Indium into the East Indies. God, my ministers have become very, very good. Producing lots of stuff. Right, so you get them back to Bogota. If I take you out, will you be livid? You will. For one more turn, though. One more turn, then it'll be time to push on to Caracas. Let's use my missionary to scout. Now, very, very happy. First rate. Oh, oh, God. Britain. Open tech. Dang. See, Spain, Spain's currently indifferent, even though I've kicked them out of the continent. But I now can upgrade plantations. But the first thing to do is to upgrade ports. More ports is more export capacity. That's your limiting factor when it comes to exports. It's not how much you produce, it's can you get it out of the country. So me yield, low yield... Me yield. Me yield. See, I don't know if these actually change. Me yield, me yield. God, I've not. I've got slim pickings for resources. Sugar warehouse. Coffee warehouse. That's your lot. Okay, so you've done that. So maybe you should go on to pud Puddling Furnace, because I do have some iron works. No, Selective Breeding. Selective Breeding needs to be done. It's Mexico. It's, oh, it's, it's growing. Food shortages have gone down, so much so that a town is actually growing. Good, my army is coming together. Let's get another unit of Fusileros, and then let's get... Unit of line. And these chaps will sail onto Cuba. The United States still using fifths for now. No, actually, this army needs to secure Texas because I don't want the US to suddenly break out and be right on me. I need to secure against the Pueblo nations who still have. They're trading with me, I'm their only friend, so if I declare on them, it should be okay. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.